Hi everyone, my name is Shirley and I'm deaf. I'm not physically deaf, but I feel deaf anyway. In my heart and my hands, I'm a deaf person, although I can hear and speak normally. Today, I would like to share my story. I was born to a deaf family. My parents and my big brother are deaf from birth. When my mom became pregnant with me, she prayed to God that her child would be born deaf just like her. She wanted a baby that she could talk to in her language, in sign, and share her culture, the culture of the deaf. I was born with a sense of hearing. At the beginning, of course, no one knew. As a baby, my parents felt that I was different. So they took me to a specialist to find out whether I can hear. The specialist could not determine whether I was deaf or not. But when I was one year old, my parents saw me reacting to the sound of a breaking glass or a slamming door. They realized that I had a problem. I could hear. When my parents found out that I could hear, they must have felt that they had an alien in the house. My parents had difficulties understanding my hearing needs. They ran to the clinic to get me a speech therapist to teach me how to talk. And not ever needing a telephone, they ran out to buy me one. But they could not teach me how to use it. I had to learn by myself. With the television, when they learned about the volume knob, they turned it to maximum. And then I had to invent the sign way too loud to indicate that the volume was too high. After all, way too loud is an expression that deaf people never use. <laughs> From then on, I remember myself as both, a hearing and a deaf person. At home, I was deaf. Everything was in sign language. Jokes, stories, even prayers. The words, mom and dad, were my first words, but in sign. Outside the house, I was a normal hearing child. Therefore, I became my family's translator. When I went with the family to see our doctor, it was usually because they were sick and not me. They took me everywhere. I was the mediator. Even when my older brother had a parent-teacher meeting, I went, and I went along to translate. Since I was afraid of my brother, I told my parents that he was doing much better at school than he actually was. <laughs> Forgive me, Aaron. <laughs> deaf people don't always know what makes a noise and what doesn't. When my mother learned that lightning had a sound, thunder, she asked me, does sunlight have a sound too? As I grew up, I began to feel more comfortable with the hearing community. I must admit that I was sometimes embarrassed to walk down the street with my mom and dad and talk to them with my hands. I graduated college and got a job in something that I was really good at, human resources. As someone who grew up in the deaf community, my ability to understand facial expressions and body language of the people that I was interviewing came in very handy. Ten years ago, I married a man with a normal sense of hearing. One year later, we had twins that were born with a normal sense of hearing. But five years ago, our third son was born with partial hearing. I must admit, I was upset. I cried. I wanted a hearing baby like me. But my son eventually gave me the courage to become a bridge between the signing and the hearing cultures. I ended up leaving my job in the high-tech sector, and now I have a non-profit venture, helping deaf professionals find opportunities in the hearing community. And I lecture on the importance of tolerance and understanding. I tell them that deaf people do not feel inferior or unfortunate. They are very proud of their culture, their community, and they really enjoy life. If a magic fish were to grant them three wishes, none of those wishes would be to make them hear. 
Deaf people communicate with their eyes, their hands, and their heart. As you can see in the picture, my son Noam is playing violin to his deaf grandmother. She can feel the vibration with her hands while she is holding it. She enjoys the music in her own special way. By the way, my kids are fluent in sign language. Despite what people think, sign language is not universal. It is completely different in Hebrew, English, or Arabic. But sign language is a very rich language. We have slang, wow, poetry, and of course, swear words. I will not tell you what this means. <laughs> and you know what? Deaf people definitely have some advantages. For example, deaf people have a high degree of integrity. They have trouble speaking behind your back. To be sure, deaf people love to gossip, but it is easier to be caught. At my wedding day, I could see what everybody had to say about my wedding dress. <laughs> Hearing people cannot communicate at noisy parties, but for deaf people, the party is never noisy. Even deaf people with hearing aids will sometimes take them off in order to concentrate. Deaf people don't suffer from noise pollution. When my brother Aaron comes back from work, he takes off his hearing aids for peace and quiet. We have more trouble. We are living in the media world. We are always on the smartphone, TV, laptop, Deaf people have to see with their eyes what other people say. My parents look into my eyes. When was the last time that you looked into the eyes of your child or your parent? And finally, an important bit of financial advice. Never play poker with a deaf person. <laughs> people who naturally use sign language can read your body language and your real feelings. For deaf people, there is no such thing as a poker face. <laughs> In Hebrew, my name Shirley means a song for me. My parents gave me this name, although they never heard the song and definitely never heard me singing, never heard my voice. They hear me with their eyes, their hands, and their heart, and they taught me to bridge between these two worlds and to love them both. So, hi everybody, I am Shirley, and I am deaf.